Hey, wanted to do a quick video lesson for y'all today about drop thumb and how it's it's not something you should be afraid of and how if you can do a bum ditty, you already have the tools you need to do drop thumb. So kind of high level overview, what is drop thumb? Well, it's whenever you're playing and your thumb is going to drop down to one of the lower strings while you're playing to sound another note. Um, this is really great. It gives you different syncopation options. It gives you, um, you know, options to hit notes within the melody uh, that may be on the offbeat of where the bum ditty may land. So it allows you, instead of stopping to strike single notes that are out of that sequence, you can drop your thumb down, sound that note, and continue playing really, you know, nonstop. So in order to go through the, the sequence of what a, a drop thumb is, let's very quickly review a bum ditty. Strike, brush, pop. That's all. I do highly recommend, if you've seen my other videos, whenever you strike and you brush, you're always coming home with your thumb. You don't necessarily need to do this to continue on in banjo. I will say that uh, it's something that really helped me take my playing to another level when I finally decided to buckle down and do it uh, several years ago after years of playing with a floating thumb. Um, it just made me more accurate and uh, it really gives your hand that orientation. And as you get into more advanced playing, when you have drop thumb and you're moving all over the, the, um, the strings, it, it really does help to have that orientation. So again, we are doing the... So the part that you already know how to do is the, and that's really simple day one banjo stuff. I always teach people when you're doing your bum D, I just want to hear you do this. And all you do is you add your strike. Now you're doing a bum ditty. In this case, we're not doing a brush, but we're doing a pop. So all you're doing is the, but what we're going to do, instead of your thumb sounding the drone, you're gonna drop down. And for the first exercise, we're just gonna use the two high strings. So I'm in open G, we're gonna use the D and the B string, and then obviously the drone. So what you're gonna do when you're coming down, let's see if I can do this on my lap here, is you're gonna strike whatever your striking finger is, and we're gonna catch your thumb here to pop. We're gonna come back up and finish the bum ditty. So like this. That's it. That's drop thumb. So your bum ditty. This is your drop thumb. That's it. Like that's literally it. It's as simple as when you learn to bum ditty and you go, oh, that's it. That's it for drop thumb. So how can you apply this to your playing? Well, you can use it to kind of jazz up just some basic strumming as you're as you're going along if you're just picking through some songs and singing along i'll demonstrate i'm just going to do a g c d riff and i'll play it real quick all right i'm going to add drop thumb in now it doesn't always have to be on the b and the d string it can be the D and the G string. It can be the B and the G string. You'll find that as you get, you know, further into playing uh, more advanced stuff that uh, it can be all over the place. So um, I wanted to give an example of how you can apply this. You know, you hear somebody playing, you're like, man, how do you get to that point where you're just picking and you sound, you get that kind of like banjo funk, you know what I mean? Like that real funky kind of sound that banjo is known for, and it just gives it a different feel. So I just did a lesson today for, uh, I've been working on the railroad, and I, there's this one part in it I thought was really cool that I came up with, um, and it's the end of the song where it says, um, can't, can't you hear your captain calling? So, can't you hear your captain calling? It would go, if you're playing the melody. So. What I did here is the same line, but I added some drop thumb in. It sounds a lot cooler, right? It's, it's the same... Uh, melody, it's just instead of stopping my pattern to go, it's just, now I was able to come back up, use my drone, and to keep, keep my pattern rolling without that break to just tap single notes. Um, so, you know, give this a shot at home, 
um, while you're just picking around, if you're just someone who just kind of strums right now and you want to jazz it up a little bit, just, you know. It's a good way to practice, just throw it in. So again, let's do it real quick. Like I said, if you can do a bum ditty, you already know how to do this. Thanks for watching. Lessons are always free. Tips are appreciated if you like.